start all over again. Let's do it. Let's do it again. It's a lock here. Feed messing up. It's all Satan, but it's all right. We ain't gonna, we gonna make this too, too long anyways. It's just just a little quick quick one in the spirit. All right. The spirit I had off today, so I feel like I'm out here and all. So I'm definitely held by someone else shy. I'm grateful. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter seven, verse five. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, you know, shy and evil and only evil, behold, is come, and end is come, the end is come, it watches for thee, behold, it is come. All right, only open up by giving all praise to the Most High, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Badash, which is giving all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, and name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors. To the elders and apostles and hand bishops who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity and who will well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful lake scattered abroad. Shalom, shalom to all you brothers and sisters tuning in. Um, you brothers can drop scriptures as, as we go. Seems like the live is doing better now. I, I just start, tried to start and it was giving me problems, but it's doing better now. So that's all praise to you. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh we're coming into this year 2024. You know, so called, it's a so called New Year's coming up. Which we know the, the 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 new year is really in the spring, but um you know you got you got this thing with the bricks dollar shalom shalom you hold by you hold by shemel shai by shemel kapadash brakatam um brakatam tell you sister brothers that's tuning in and I'm just you know I I ain't gonna make this too long I just wanna you know jump in the spirit while I'm, while I'm, while I'm out here I had off today so I figured I'd come out here and you know put some time in on the clock you hold by shemel shai and uh. Yeah, man, you know, 20, you know, here we are leaving 2023 and 2023 was hell, you know, but it, 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 had, it had us good too. You know, the, the, the Lord does a balance. Like Job said, shall we receive e uh, good from the most high and not evil? So the Lord does a balance, you know, and, um, you know, 2023 in my life personally, I'm sure your life too. Oh, uh, you know, we, 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 we caught our fair share of hell. You know, we had our good. The Lord definitely blessed us. The Lord blessed us tremendously and we're grateful for that. We also caught our fair share of hell. And if you didn't catch any hell in 2023, you might not be in this truth. You know, you, you, and, and the Lord might not be dealing with you, man. Because the Lord chastises those that he loves. Okay, so you're going to chastise us and give us, you know, different, um, you know, hells and, you know, tribulations and uh, chastisements to, to strengthen us. And now going into 2024, you know, we're going to be a lot stronger than we were going into 2023. So that's all through the spirit of your whole body. Shot, and we are grateful for part of that. But... You got this thing with the bricks, you know, the bricks dollars, you know, they say a bricks dollar is a, uh, is a uh, 55 American dollars. So these co more countries are going to join the bricks come January 1st, which means that this uh, inflation is going to turn to hyperinflation. It's going to get bad out here, man. You know, there may be a civil war, you know, in 2024. Um, you know, you, you, you got you, you got wars and rumors of wars going on all over the all over the world. You know, so as time goes on, as things get get you know, uh, uh, you know, go on, it's gonna get worse out here, man. And with that, you gotta tr completely come to the spirit and trust of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Trust the process, because the Lord's got us out here, you know, pretty much, you know, we 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 are pretty much like sitting ducks, you know, you know, and and in the spirit, the Lord has angels around us protecting us. And we can't physically see those angels with our eyes, but so to to, to the average person's eyes, it looks like we're 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 defenseless. But through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh we have holy angels that's watching over us, man. And you got to believe that. So as no matter how bad 2024 get, the elect will survive, man. Whoever the elect are, they're going to they're going to endure, they're going to survive, and they're going to you know uh, be 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 uh, saved. Which we pray to be a part of them. We can't never ever say. Scripture says, "Make that not not thyself of that number." We pray to be of that number, which we call ourselves the help, the hopeful elect. But the whole point is that we become the elect, or that we are the elect, Lord willing, we are the elect, so that we can't be saved. All right. So let me bring this back. And I'm going to read up a little bit. Y'all yeah, drop scriptures as we go. Somebody can grab me, um, somebody can grab me, uh, that scripture, um, you let y'all endure, endure until the end. All right. And then, um, measure out of time diligently. So it says, Ezekiel chapter seven, verse four, it says, mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee and thine abomination shall be hid, shall, shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So you people that's out here, you, you just celebrate a Thanksgiving. You you were just you know out, out there dressed up for Halloween. Now you're getting ready for Christmas. The Lord is going to judge you, man. The Lord is going to destroy you. Here we are in 2023, you're going to 2024, and you're still celebrating these pagan holidays. You need to really examine yourself and question yourself. You know, we ain't got time to be still you know worshiping idols, man. Because that's all it is. It's idol worship. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, water, brother. It says. 
Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and evil, which evil means bad times. Okay, we come into some very, very bad times, some very uncomfortable times. And uh, you, you, you won't need Yahweh Bashim Yahshai on your side. Okay, without Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you will be consumed. Okay, it says, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. So there's evil coming, and only evil is coming, man. When you understand that you're going to move in a certain spirit, you, you're going to hold yourself in a certain light. That, okay, I know that the Lord is coming, and the Lord is doing this, and... What can I do to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and do his pleasing unto him? It says, um, an end is come. The end is come, which is the end of this world. This world, if you know it, is about to end. It's coming to an end. Okay, America, you know, this uh, European lifestyle that, that, that's being pushed, you know, this uh, this beast system, it's all coming to an end. And they know it. This is why you got uh, Bill Gates, you know, um, buying bunkers. You know, you got, uh, you know, this movie, um, Leave the World Behind just came out. Which that was symbolic for, you know, the people in the know, you know, they, they, they're saying to get rid of the world behind. They, they, they're going into their bunkers, man. And they're going to leave you people out here to starve, to, to, to eat each other, you know, to, 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 to you know, fight in a time of chaos, man. It says, it says, an end has come, the end has come, it watches for thee, behold, it has come. All right, so the end is coming and, it, and, and it's watching for you. That's why you got to be seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahshua more and more every day, coming into the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and hoping to be saved. It says, The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near. We're coming into the day of trouble. Okay, when you read about Jacob's trouble, which this, this trouble is going to come upon your Israelites, man. You know, pre 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 predominantly. It's going to start with your Israelites first. Jacob's trouble is going to start with your Israelites, but it's going to end with Esau. Because Esau is going to be in trouble too. But predominantly, you, 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 you Israelites, man. You, you Jake, you so-called Negro and Hispanic Native Indians who live in paycheck to paycheck. When, when, when this inflation come and this, you know, and, 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 this, and, and this economy collapse, you're going to be the ones that, that, that's going to feel it the most. It says, the day of trouble is, is near and not, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee. And accomplish my anger upon thee, and the Lord is angry with you, two thirds of our people, because you ain't, you ain't repent, you ain't getting right, you ain't praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai. You got people that still worship white Jesus. They, 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 they about to get ready to, to, to gather around a Christmas tree, man. You know, which is the Yule tree, you know, which is an, another pagan god that you worship, man. Okay, so the Lord is angry. He says, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thy abom thine abominations. The Lord's going to recompense you. He's going to pay you back for all your abominations, all your evil, all your wickedness, you know. And then, and then we live in a very evil and wicked and ugly world. And as they say, you know, you, you, Jake say in the world, God don't like ugly, man. Okay, God do not like ugly, bro. You got to remain humble. You got to remain in the spirit. You, you, you know, you know, you, scripture says treat others the way you want to be treated. You know, you got to treat other brothers the way you want to be treated. Just that's the way we want to be treated, you know. Um, and God don't, God don't, most I don't like ugly, man. So he going to. These people out here that, 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 that's, that's, li 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 that's living in oblivion, okay, they say ignorance is bliss. They're going to be completely wiped away, you know, and destroyed in that, you know, in, in that, um, that, uh, um, what, what is it called? The, 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 the beast of destruction, okay, that destroying wind is going to, you go, you go, you're going to be bliss, all right? All right? It says, um, <clears throat> verse 9, mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh that smiteth. So you're going to know who the true God of the Bible is, man. It ain't going to be up for debate. It's the truth ain't up for debate. You know? It's a school. That's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. That's literally what we're talking about. That's the spirit. It's a school right there, and they're letting the kids out. So, they, you know, they came on the intercom and said what they had to say. So everybody, everybody's in that spirit, man. And that, that, that's the spirit of the people of this world. Okay, it's no surprise. We're not surprised at all. This, this is the spirit of the people of this world. So they're getting ready to enjoy the holidays and two weeks off, and they're going to see you in 2024. You know, everybody in that spirit right now, man. But it's all cool, because when the Lord comes back, he's going to destroy anybody that's in that spirit, man. Now, later on, on, later on, the intercom going to end up being destroyed out here, man. You know? So it says, um, I'm going to grab, grab y'all precepts. Let me see. It says, uh, 
that and then you shall know that I am Yahweh that smiteth behold the day behold it is come the morning is gone forth the rod have blossomed pride hath budded violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness none of them shall remain nor of their multitude nor of any of theirs neither shall there be wailing for them right so that's the lord is not playing okay the lord is not playing he is not to be played with it says the time has come the day draweth near let not the buyer rejoice let nor the seller mourn for, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof for the seller shall not return to that which is sold although they were yet alive for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof which shall not return neither shall any strengthen himself in iniquity of in the iniquity of his life so you ain't gonna be able to just continue to be a nigga no more man you know to, to be a heathen to live like a heathen all this is going to come to an end the lord is going to make all this shit cease and this world that we living in america because we over here in, okay, in, in america everything here is going to burn everything here is going to burn man and that's where your mind got to be we got we got to have tunnel vision on the kingdom of heaven everything trying to distract you from the, 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 the doing this work and, and serving your help and now and, and all and ultimately you know enduring it to the end for the kingdom of heaven but we gotta have tunnel vision for the kingdom of heaven man our our, our our mind and our spirit is set on the kingdom of heaven to hell with this world bro we we we, 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 we are we are nothing here and we ain't trying to be nothing here man we understand that we're gonna have it all in the next world to come okay and that's a blessing that's a blessing that the lord can uh put us you know in that stead he says they have blown the trumpet even to make all ready but none go up to the battle for the wrath is upon all the multitude thereof right so we blow on the trumpet you know here we are blowing the trumpet telling you to repent telling you to seek your help by shemar shai telling you to get right telling you to, to turn from your evil ways celebrating these pagan holidays and jake don't want to hear it so guess what now you're going to feel it okay as as a, a beloved Ed apostle uh gabar would say when words can't teach adversity will all right it says um the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within he that is in the field shall die with the sword and he that is in the city famine and pestilence shall devour him right you people gonna be you know starving to death man you know you're gonna have to go ahead you're coming out with more plagues more 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 dis-ease okay it's coming and they just strike the channel the other day but i put some prayers up and tell them to, 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 uh, and i appealed it and they granted my appeal so the lord is answering our prayers man and the Lord been doing that for me lately, uh, like crazy lately. I've been, I've been praying to the Lord for certain things, and He'll answer, he'll answer my prayers right there on the spot, man. You know, it, it, it'd be like in that same hour, the Lord will answer my, 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 my prayers. And that's how we know the Lord, the Lord is with us. The Lord is answering our, the Lord is, He hears us, man. Scripture says the prayer of the humble pierce the clouds. Let me grab that too, okay? Because we out here put our lives and our, and, and, and our freedom on the line for Yahweh Bashim al and he, 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 he don't take that lightly. You know, He ain't just gonna leave us out here like you other people gonna be left out here it says all hands shall be feeble and the knees shall be weak as water all right that's the point on that um well, i can go a little more it says they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and and, and horror shall cover them they sh and shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon all their heads it says they shall cast their silver into the streets and their gold shall be removed their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's of the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh so You people that's doing doing this side, you got all this money stored up and all this fame and all this wealth. Hey, really, you 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 you, 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 hey, hey, you should be helps blessing the prophets, man. You, you, you should be you know uh, uh, sowing unto the church. Because if you're not, guess what? All that money you got, everything that you, that you got stored up, ain't gonna mean nothing any fucking ways. Okay? When this dollar collapse and and, and, and this and, and then these bricks dollars come in. You know, and the hyperinflation, <coughs> all that shit that you have ain't gonna mean nothing anyways, man. It, it, it's gonna all come to naught. It says, um, their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yahweh. You're not gonna be able to bribe or, or buy off the, 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 the Lord, man. Okay? So what does it matter if you're a fucking millionaire on, on this side? Because, hey, that ain't gonna, that, that's gonna come to naught, man. And they're about to change this currency system. They're about to change the currency. Like, like right now, now you can go to your, go to the store with cash or your credit card, in the, in the, in the, in the, probably in a very few short months, that's going to be obsolete, man. You're going to have to have a karagma, okay? Don't be surprised. It says, um, it says, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, 
because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity, right? So you people are going to fill it, man. Let me grab this too. Uh, yep, it says Ecclesiastes chapter 35, verse 16. He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor. So you fear the Lord, you serving Yahweh Hashem, you're going to be accepted with favor. This is why you, you sincere brothers that believe in this thing, hey, keep believe it man keep striving keep pushing hey uh you know keep 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 going you know because see at the end of, at, at end of this the people that don't believe they're going to be destroyed scripture says all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness okay so if you faithful you believe keep believing man no matter how how bleak things may look no matter how rocky things no matter what you got to go through keep believing it says he that serveth the lord shall be accepted with favor and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds the prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds and this is what we see we see in our prayers pierce the clouds man okay we see in our prayers pierce the clouds and you know we, we pray to you the lord the lord is there he answers our prayers man i can give you fucking five examples of how the lord answered my prayers in the past week man you know <laughs> on, on you know i can give you five examples man how the lord just i pray the lord now i just gave you one with, with, with the whole the channel getting striped and they struck the channel. I was like, "Damn, my channel gonna be out to February, man." And I was like, "You know what? I'm gonna send some prayers up, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna, and, I, and I'm going to appeal it." So I, I sent some prayers up, and I appealed it. And usually they they'll say, "Fuck you." They ask me, they they they're still, you know, keep the strike. But they they actually granted my appeal, you know. And I said something in 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 the in the, in the, in the comment, but the Lord put spirit in me of what to say. The Lord literally told me what to say. So when I said that in the little thing, whatever, they appealed it, and they uh, to appeal it, and they granted the appeal. And that was all your whole boss from because they didn't have to, you know. They didn't have to grant that appeal, but your whole boss from y'all shot made them. He made them do it, so they did have to. All right. It says the prayer of the humble pierces the clouds, until it come nigh, he will not be confounded, he and will not depart, till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. So we pray to your whole boss from y'all every single day, all day, man. Mr. Thunder, start praying more. Scripture says, blessed is he that readeth, you should be reading. You should, you know, you know, praying. Scripture says, pray without ceasing. So we praying all, all, every day, all day, man. We praying, man. You know, get on your knees, put, you know, bow your head, put your hands toward, place your hands towards the east, and pray to your whole and all shine. And when the time does come, when, 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 when trials and tribulation and affliction is upon this place, the Lord is going to be there with you. He's going to deliver you. He's, he's going to have mercy upon you. Now, do you really believe that? You know, you got to truly 144% believe that, man. You know? And, that, and, and that's that. Uh, let me go here. <clears throat> let me grab your scriptures, brother, for water. Uh, beautiful scriptures, that, by, by the way. Because right now, you got to get proud and think, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Listen, we don't know who the, who, who, who the elect are. You might not be the elect. The man next to you could be the elect. So at the end of the day, you got to push the team to strive to be to be a part of that number. You can't make yourself of that number. All right. But whoever the elect are, they're going to endure until the end. It says, Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So iniquity is bound. So people are, you know, the love, love, love of many is waxing cold. People don't have love for each other no more, man. It's a bunch of hatred. It's Shalom, uh, brother, shop of the 12. Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, Brakata. Yeah, people don't have love for each other no more. We're coming into a dog eat dog world. You know, it's, it's like, you know, the crab in the bucket thing. Everybody's trying to step upon each other to, to get to where, where they want to be, man. Which is a very evil and wicked thing, but that's the world that we're living in. There's no surprise, you know, and it's only going to get worse. As time goes on, it's only going to get, everybody's going to be for themselves, man. And, that, and then that, that's the reality. Everybody, right now, people are only for them fucking selves. They don't care about the next man. They don't care about the, 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 the you know, the, the uh, sheep. All they care about is making themselves look good and make sure that they, that, 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 that they are, you know, uh, satisfied rather rather than 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 the next man you know which is a very evil and you know um uh selfish spirit the, 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 when you shall walk this earth he was selfless man they say how the scriptures talk about how he did more things that you can't even fit in the book so when the Lord was on this earth he did everything for others you know that's what, that's what, that's what you see age scriptures talk about being charitable you know being charitable man see we we, we, we don't do things for us man you know, and, 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 and we go we, we go out of our way to make sure other uh, other brothers and sisters are comfortable, man. Even doing these shows, this is comforting for you. You see, we, we already know these scriptures. 
We already have this in our spirit. We, 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 we already meditate, me meditating on this. But for you younger brothers and sisters that may not believe and may not understand, may not know, we out here for you. To warn you, to tell you of what's to come, man. To tell you to repent. To tell you to seek your help by Shema We are constantly exhorting you to continue in the faith. Okay? That's not, and that's not of our own either. Okay? Even us knowing this truth and understanding this truth, that's only of the spirit of your whole body smell shine, man. None of this is of us. We can't take take credit for none of this, man. It's your whole body smell that wakes you up and put the spirit in you to come out here and do this, or even called you to come into this truth. It was all the spirit of your whole body smell shine. You didn't come this on your own. Oh, I know this. I know that. You know, no, you don't know shit, man. You don't know a damn thing. All we know is what your whole body smell shine allows us to know and what he has given us. All right. Let me read on. <laughs> it says, um. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So like I said, 2024 is going to be worth for 2023. But you got to endure until the end. You know, if we have to, Lord, when we don't, but Lord, if we have to go to 2025, you got to endure until the end, man. You know, continue to endure, continue to believe, continue to trust, continue to assert it, man. You know? And hey, this year, man, last year was bad, bro. Last year was bad for me. This year was even fucking worse. And I can't imagine how bad next year is going to be, but, hey, I, I, it's a beautiful thing because, hey, it, it allows you to grow. And I always thank you, how about you know, Shabbat, he gives me opportunity to grow. He gives me opportunity to, uh, to, to, to to flourish in the spirit. You know, he gives you he gives you an avenue to to be to become more sharper and better in the spirit, man. You know, and that's what the Lord does when he puts these things upon you and the suffering upon you, man. This hell upon you. You know, so it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, really. You know, when you, when you, when you look at the long run, that's what the Lord said, gird up thy loins like a man. I would demand of thee and answer thou me. So you got to gird up your loins like a man and be a man about it, man. Okay? At the end of the day, this, 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 thing, is, this, this thing ain't for the fucking weak, bro. You got to be strong. You got to be strong in the spirit and, and, and in, your, in your own mind. Scripture says, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Nobody should be able to deter you or make you, you know, cause you to doubt and come in dis to disbelief. Nobody should be able to do that if you are fully persuaded in your own mind. And the elect are going to be fully persuaded in their own mind. So no matter how, how bad it looks or how bad it gets or how, you know, what 2024 may, may bring, the elect are going to endure until the end. All right. And we pray to be a part of that number. And like I said, you can't make yourself of that number. It's all through the spirit of your whole body. The Lord already knows who he said to be a part of that elect. The Lord are already predestined from the beginning of time. Who's going to be a part of that elect? Who's going to endure to the end? And who's not going to endure to the end? You, you got guys that's in this truth that may be in this truth for, you know, fucking this many years. And you, and you don't know. The Lord may have it in your, in your story to fall out next year. He may have it in your story to fall out next week. You know, go back into the world. Any, any of you who, who, who came into this truth and went back into the world, the Lord's going to judge you, man. The Lord's going to punish you. You know? You can't be, be in this truth, doing your videos, doing your shows, praying, going out of camp. And then one of you to say, fuck that, I'm, I'm going back into the world. You ain't did a video in five or six months. You know, you're not a man of the Lord. You, uh, uh, you damn sure ain't of the elect. Okay? The, the, elect, the elect are going to endure until the end. All right? I'm going to grab that too. It says, But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom should be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So then the end is going to come, man. You see? Did we not, the Lord don't got us out here. You know, and the Lord put these words in our mouth, man, to come out here and say these things and prophesy these things. Okay, but we're not out here for nothing. When 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 the push comes to shove, this this is then you gonna know. Oh, let me see. Um, this this is the problem with our people. You know, a lot of Jake come, come, come into this truth. And it don't matter about how you came into the truth. It's not what matters is, is is are you gonna endure until the end? Okay, you, you could be in the truth now. You know, call yourself in the truth now, but 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 ultimately bug out later, which is a horrifying thing. That's a terrible thing to think. That's why we always gotta pray. The, the prayer of, you know, of of David, of King David. He said, Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit from me in Psalms 51. You know, you should be praying that every day, man. Listen, the Lord can take your take his Holy Spirit from you. A lot of times, Jake come in this truth and they get, you know, uh, 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 knowledge puffed up and they think, oh yeah, I got this, I, yeah, I know this, I, I know that, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you don't know shit, bro. The Lord can put a demon in your ass and bug your ass out the next day. Okay, that's the reality, man. We're not here to sugarcoat it or tell you, tell you what you want to hear. We're telling you the truth and the truth hurts. The Lord, the Lord can put a demon on your ass tomorrow. Humble yourself, you know. And, 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 we, and none of us got it all. Scripture says we, we, we see we see through a through a, through, through, through a glass darkly, man. Okay, you you don't you don't know what tomorrow can, can bring, man. All right. Let me grab this real quick. 
It says Luke chapter 9 verse 59 and he said unto uh, he said unto another follow me but he said Lord suffer me first to go and bury my father verse 60 Yahweh Shai said unto him let the dead bury their dead go but go thou and preach the kingdom of the most high we are preaching the kingdom of the most high Yahweh we're telling you the kingdom to come we don't give a damn about this kingdom bro we don't give a damn about how you know what what we have and what we don't have in this world. We don't cut it all all done for your whole body. y'all side, okay? To hell with it, bro. Fuck it. Sometimes you gotta be in that spirit. Like, uh, who is that? Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac said, uh, he said, uh, what he said? Fuck him. You know? To hell with this place, bro. Fuck you. People don't give a, you know. You people, you people ain't. I think like people, like, people in this world, like yo, these are these are, like. Why the fuck would I give a fuck about what people in this world think when these are pretty much skeletons? Motherfuckers that's already predestined to be destroyed. Scripture says they were born in vain. Okay? I'm not trying to look fly or clean or, you know, any of that shit for the people of this world. To hell with the people of this world. We try to look fly and clean for your whole body and your side. And the way we do that is in the spirit. Okay? To be spiritually fly. Alright? It says... It says... <clears throat> and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee... But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at my, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, so you came into this work, you started doing this work, you started putting your hand to the plow. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back, you want you, you, you looking back at the world. Oh, I want to go over there. I want to, 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 you know, m m mingle and shit. Fuck that. <laughs> he said, No man having put his hand to the plow. And looking back, it's fit for the kingdom of the Most High, man. Shalom, you hold by you know, shy by shrimp, cut the All right. So you gotta, you gotta, like I said, tunnel vision on the kingdom of heaven. Our mindset is on the kingdom of heaven. To hell with everything else. But we're not looking back. We're not, we're not going back and forth. We're not looking back, man. Okay, our mindset ain't, ain't on having a fucking good time. We're not trying to enjoy our lives here or make some of ourselves here. Fuck this place. We know, we know the outcome of America. We know what's coming to America. We know America is going to burn. This place is going to be destroyed, man. You know, hey, 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 let me grab that too. So lucky, I'm in the spirit, so I'm, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab that precept as well. This phone about to die, so I'm trying to get into everything I can off this phone before it dies. All right, and I'm not, then, then I got the whole, the whole comment board too as well. But uh, the scriptures talk about being content, man. You know, as long as we get our daily bread, bro, be content. We 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 don't need the, the nicest of the nicest and the finest of the finest, man. Okay. It says, um, I, mean, I, I, I love, I love this chapter because it tells you the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. What spirit to be in? This is a very covetous world, man. That's why you got all these commercials, everything, you, you know, and yeah, they showed you that, that in the movie, um, They Live, you know, uh, uh, he put the glasses on, everything said consume, consume, uh, uh buy, obey. This is, this is a cons consumer world. So everything is just it's just, it's just, it's just it pushes it pushes a covetous spirit, you know. And people can never have enough. You get something and you oh oh yeah I could have got a better one. I could have got this. I could have got it. Fuck that man, you know. Be content with what you have. Be content in the spirit. It says um. Second Timothy, chapter I mean First Timothy chapter six, verse um I'm gonna read all this. It says verse one. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. That the name of the Most High and His doctrine be not blasphemed. It says, "And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of benefit." These things teach and exhort. So we teach these things, and we and we exhort, right? It says, "If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words." Even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doteth about portions and stripes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil sermonings. It says, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. Your mind has been corrupted. Your average American here in America, your average Babylonian, your average Egyptian, their mind is corrupted. Okay, their mind ain't right. Their fucking head is all fucked up. They, they, they don't know what they believe in. You know, they, they, they don't know their head from a hole in the wall. That's the reality, man. 
We see these people, you know, every day you just look at people like, damn, these motherfuckers are completely oblivious. They have no idea what's going on. And the sad part is they don't even want to know. They don't want to know. You try to tell them, hey, brother, you know that? No, I don't need that shit, man. Oh, yeah. oh, take that shit, so, you know? So, hey, we, all, all we can do is identify and keep it pushing. It says, <coughs> it says, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain is godliness. And that's what the this world teaches, that gain is godliness. It's all about what you have, what you can front, what you can show off, how you look, how fly you is. It ain't about that, bro. Everything here is going to fucking burn. Everything here is going to burn. Watch that movie Legion. That movie uh, uh, Legion, good, great movie. But it shows you how, you know, and it's, it, 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 it's, 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 it's a little biblical, but it's a little bit off, but it's not so biblical. But the old lady who had demons on her, she said, your baby's going to fucking burn. Okay, so you got you got you got to have it in your mind all the time. Like, hey, this place is going to fucking burn. Whatever you tr treasure here, we used to, we, we set our treasures up in heaven. Whatever you treasure here on earth, it's going to burn, bro. Anything here in America is going to burn. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to to, 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 to be eviscerated off the face of the earth. It's uh, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdrawal vice of people that's in that spirit of trying to tr trying to uh, 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 what, what they what they call it keeping up with the Joneses. People in the spirit are keeping up with the Jones. They, they just all about, you know, the outward, you know. Hey, that, all that shit's going to burn. The Lord said, um, <clears throat> from such withdraw thyself. So you got people with family, friends that was in the world that was just, that, 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 ain't, that ain't coming in the spirit of this truth. And that's going in the spirit of this world. Withdraw yourself. Withdraw yourself. It, it, it ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with getting away from niggas that want to be, that want to continue to be niggas. If you want to continue to be a nigga, say, be, go be a nigger over there. Okay. And we're we, we going to be in the spirit over here. All right? It says, uh, verse 16, I was lucky, verse 6. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6. But godliness with contentment is great gain. So godliness with contentment, being content, you know? Being glad for what you have. The Lord, you know, woke you up this morning. He got food in your, in your stomach. You got food in your, in your fridge. You got clothes on your back. You got a car to drive. You don't need to fuck. You don't need a the most fucking flyest car out there, man. If only you get you from point A to point B, hey, you know, hey, hey man, we, we drive Hebrew mobiles, okay? We drive Hebrew mobiles. And with that, hey, hey our car, car can give us no problems, you know? You may, you may, you may have, have, have to deal with a little, little minor shit, but at the end of the day, the Lord has blessed us, man. And the most, and the most important thing, the way the Lord has blessed us is giving us this knowledge and this truth, giving us his names. I want to go into that too. Cause you gotta pray in those names, man. You got camps talking about, oh, it don't matter. You can call them whatever. The name don't matter. No, nigga, the name matter, man. And you gotta pray in those names, okay? It says, but godliness with contentment <coughs> is great gain. But we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. So don't be thinking about what you're gonna have, what you're gonna get in 2020, 2024. You know, all fuck that, bro. Motherfuckers right now making their Christmas list for fucking Santa talking about what they want. Fuck all that, bro. This is it, all. This is gonna burn. <laughs> when, when, what you have is gonna burn. You got you, when you get something, you gotta add, you gotta act like you already lost it. You know, in the spirit, man. Now be grateful. It's very important to be grateful. But in the spirit, you gotta think. Okay, you know, I got this, but this this ain't something I'm gonna have my mind on because I it, it, it really I'm gonna, to, I'm, I'm gonna have to leave all this shit behind. You know, we count all things done, and we may win your house, Shai Hamashiach. It says, it says, uh, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. We are content, man. Okay, we are content. Having food and raiment, let us be there with content. All right, because you got you got you got food, you got you got clothes on your back. Be content. You don't need the the, the, the finer the, the finest things, man. It'll be nice. But at the same time, we know we understand that this this is not our, our world. Look at this fucking sky, man. Let me show you this sky real quick. I don't know what I'm looking at, but this is the world we we, we live in right now. Look at this, man. Those aren't even clouds. <laughs> we breathing in who knows fucking what, man. You breathing in who knows? I'm over here like my, my you know coughing and shit because we breathing in this garbage, man. You come out trying to get some fresh air and the air ain't even fresh. To hell with this place, man. To hell with this place. Now y'all watch me all try to destroy this place sooner than later. The scripture says, pray for a few days unto you. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. 
So, so we watching for the kingdom of heaven. Tunnel vision on the kingdom of heaven, man. It says, having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. And your Adam Pastor Hart did a video the other day. Was it yesterday? Man, that video was beautiful, bro. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I forgot what it was called, but but I shared it on, on, on my page. You can go, uh, you, you know, you can go on the page and you gotta go through might have to go through my commentary, but just go you should be watching all Adam Pastor Hart videos, man. Alright, but he did a video and it was so and it was so fire, man. But he, he was he was kind of going into this, you know? He was, he, was talking, he was talking about um, this guy, um, Floyd. Floyd came to the camp. He ain't going to come, come into this truth, man. You know? Because these niggas already got their constellation on their side. You know, he said, if he said, if, if a brother in the camp, if a brother in the camp, you know, won the lottery, you know, he may come to the camp that week, but, but he, he going to go to the bathroom three, three, three or four times. You be at the camp. Hey, man, we can go to the camp where the spirit be on us, bro. We ain't think about the bathroom. I, sometimes I'll be at camp having to pee for fucking hours man but, but, but my, my 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 flesh is on the back seat and the spirit takes over you know what you say he said how if a nigga was uh when they win the lottery they're gonna be able to go to the bathroom three or four times and then next week they're gonna be oh yeah i'm, I'm over here i'm over here in egypt man you know so that's why the lord keeps us at a, at a certain a certain level you know be content uh it says um but they that will be that will be rich and and uh fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows you see but thou O men of the most high flee these things so the lord said flee these things don't be caught up in in in, 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 in the things of this life let me caught up in riches and fame and trying to be here and go there and, and be, be around these people and that people fuck these people bro you know, you know, these celebrities are fucking so-called celebrities are miserable. They wish they was where they where you was at, man. They, they, they wish they wasn't. And I thought about that shit because I was in the world. I was making music and shit. And I, I stopped that shit cold turkey when I realized, okay, this ain't the life I want to live, man. Do, do, I, do, do, I, do I never want to have privacy again? Do I want to constantly be on, you know, the, the front page of a... We, we're not here for uh, fame and glory and notoriety and, 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 and views and like We're not here for that, man. We're not here for that. We don't give a fuck about that. You don't spread the whole bunch of shit. None of that matters. That, that, that's not going to fuel you, okay? You got brothers that man may get two, two fucking video, two, two, two views in their videos, man. Guess what? They still pushing for y'all bunch y'all shy. You got certain guys that, 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 that that's getting thousands of views, and if they didn't get them thousands of views, they won't be doing it, man. They won't be doing it, <laughs> okay? And you got to remember, a lot of people that's viewing, a lot of people don't don't, don't don't believe. A lot of people are just looking for entertainment. People are looking for entertainment. They, they, they're looking for something, something to pass, pass, pass the time on. You know, they're not taking this seriously. All right? So the Lord said, uh, But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things. Follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Follow after meekness, man. Follow after patience. Follow after love. Follow after faith. Fight the good fight of faith. I gotta update my my, my uh, channel, the fight of faith. Follow the good fight. Follow or uh, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. All right. Um. Let me grab this. If I can grab this. Here we go, beautiful. Uh, Proverbs 30, verse 5. Every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that have put their trust in Him. So the words of Yahweh Bashim is, 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 is pure. And He is a shield unto them that have put their trust in Him. So if you put their trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He is shielding you. He's protecting you. He's keeping you you know alive and keeping keeping breath in your body and keeping you, you 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 know safe and protected man you know you gotta understand there's demons around us constantly that's trying to destroy you there's demons around and we live in a very demonic world so there's demons around you constantly in the spirit world if you was to see the spirit right now it, it's demons everywhere but there's demons around us everywhere that's trying to throw you off and cast you into you know out of darkness man but your whole body sure has angels we all have angels around us protecting us and keeping us keep, keep keeping those demons at bay All right. 
But do you believe that? It says, every word of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. So you can't just be adding to the truth. You know, uh, Scripture says, they that add or take away shall be uh, cast into the lake of fire, man. You know, shall have had a portion with, with the unbelievers. People, because people, like, like these niggas talking about, you, oh, the name of the Lord don't matter. What the scriptures say, call upon his name. You know, they that call up, all, all that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, see, so his name does matter. It says, two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. It says, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. So we, we're not looking for, hey, he said, give me neither poverty nor riches. We don't want to be extremely rich because you go, you, you, you ain't going to want to be out here no more. You ain't going to want to serve Yahweh, Shalom, brother Yahweh, by Shalom, 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 but uh, you know, we ain't, we ain't want to be out here no more, man. If, if you if you want a hundred million dollars, you ain't gonna, you ain't you ain't gonna want to be out here, bro. You you, you gonna want to be somewhere in fucking Cancun, you know, rot, 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 riding a wild boar in, 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 in that clear ass water, man. You know, which is what the Lord keeps us at bay. He keeps us. He gives us this what you need to keep pushing, but not enough that you can't you know beside yourself and for, forget Him. All right. It says. Uh, give me neither poverty nor riches. Okay, so nor riches. It says, lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Who is Yahweh? Or lest I be poor and steal and take thy the name of my power in vain. Okay, so that's the point. You don't want to be you don't, you don't you don't want too much. To, it's a balance, bro. There is a balance. You got you, there, there is there is a such thing as balance, man. You got to have a balance and deal and, 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 and you want the Lord to keep you at, at that you know at that comfortable level. You know, which is really not comfortable, but 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 but, but it's necessary. All right. It says, "Let's uh, yep, yep. Lest I fall, lest I be full and deny thee, like the proud these rich people that get rich, they they they'll deny you how about you know, shot, man. Their, their heart ain't on you how about you know, shot. It's on their wealth and their riches. You know what they have. You know that 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 that, that new automobile protector they they gonna buy. You know." And then they can never have enough niggas be wearing four or five watches at one time and shit. Come on, bro. Like, winning is ever, ever enough. You know? Uh, that's the point on that. That's the point on that. All right. Um, yeah, that's the point on that. Let me grab some of y'all precepts. All right. The water to all you bitches that's tuning in. The water for all your precepts. You know? We got 20, 20, 20 on here. The water. How about Shimmy on Shai by Shimmy Cut the Dash Brook of Thumb? So I used to say, brothers and sisters, that, that's tuning in. A lot of all you brothers that drop precepts. Um, yeah, let me go there. Second Ezra, this is the brother died at garments from Basra. Um, second Ezra, is nine and one. I want to read that too. All right, because you got to understand what time we in. And when you understand what time we in, you, you, you're going to be moving differently, bro. You know, second Ezra chapter nine. It says, second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time dil diligently in itself. So we measure, we measure in these times. And we see what time, what time it is, man. You know? You know how you know how you go outside and you see the leaves falling and it's getting a little chilly. You say, okay, it's becoming into, into the fall time. Okay? So people start, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, they start doing fall, fall things. Okay? So measure thou the time diligently. It says, and when thou seest part of these signs pass, which I have told thee before, which is what the prophecies we see in these prophecies come to pass. We've seen all, all, all you know things, things are gearing up in the spirit. It says, then shalt thou well suck it. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. We, we know the Lord is coming back, bro. I saw a video uh, when I got up today. One of the brothers posted in the chat. It was it was of a black chariot, bro. The chariot was black, and it was it had like this little. On the side of it, it had like it looked like it had gold on the side of it, and it was like a drone filming this chariot going through the city, and this chariot was moving so effortlessly, it was just going and it would stop, go back, go and it's you know, and it was just like wow, wow. There's things, there's things that we can't even put into to 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 to, to, to into into thought, you know, out there, man. Okay, the kingdom is more. It, it, no eye or ear hath heard or seen what the Lord has prepared for those that love Him, man. 
So that's where, that's where our mind is at. Our mind is on the kingdom of heaven, serving y'all by Shemal Shai. You know? It says, um, and when thou seest part of these signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Worth, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of these things from the be from before thee, even from the beginning. So all these things that we see in and here and in earth, this is already predestined to happen. It was already spoken of from the beginning. It says, For like as all that is made in the world hath to, uh, have to have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. All right, so the end is being manifested right before our eyes, brothers and sisters. The end is here. Okay, we may not see 2020, we may not see 2025, man. Hopefully, y'all hopefully that this place is through by, by then. But here we are coming into so called 2024, and with that, you know, the elder pastor is going to, you know, coin this year, he's going to deem this year. But you can't wait, wait, wait to hear that because. That's all through the spirit too, man. Hey, the Lord is uh, 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 working through the, the, the elders and apostles to, 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 and his prophets to show us what time we're in, man. You know, to, 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 to reveal these things unto us. To, 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 to. And, and this is what gives us hope, you know? In, in, in the world of hell, in the, in the valley of the shadow of death, we have hope, man. Okay, we got faith. We believe. All right? Verse 15. I have said before and now do speak, I will speak and also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. So there be many more that perish than them that shall be saved, man. So you got to constantly think about that. The Lord is coming to kill more than he's coming to save, man. He's coming to destroy more than he's coming to save. So you got to, you got to, you all, you got to examine yourself every day. You know, you gotta, you, you, you gotta look at the, the you, you gotta look at it. If, you, if there's a man serving y'all by Shemal Shai, you gotta look at him, you gotta say, damn, I don't know who this man is in the spirit. You gotta carry yourself a certain, with a certain, you know, fear, you know? And if not, we're gonna, 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 gonna show you fear, all right? I said on that though. Let me see what else y'all uh, got. We got a lot of precepts, so I'm gonna grab these precepts before I close out. Right, I'm, I'm almost at my time. The goal was an hour at least. You know, no more than an hour. You try to, you know, put put these things in, into spiritual perspective. It says, Second Edges from the brother died, died garments from Basra. Shalom, brother Yahweh, by Shimon, Shai, by Shimon, Kapta, Dash, It says, Second Edges of the 8, verse 50. For, for many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in the latter time. Oh, so can, shall be. So, let me grab this. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. You people that are of this world, they walk in great pride, man. And many great miseries shall be done unto them. And listen, misery loves company, man. All these people, they're, they're really miserable, bro. Look at them, they're miserable. You see, but we have hope, we have faith, we, 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 we believe. We could be, we, I, I mean, we could be in people catching pure hell, but smiling like it's nothing, okay? You know, smiling and, 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 and giving all praises and rejoicing in the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai because we, 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 we have hope, you know? But the majority of people out here, they are miserable. They're catching hell, they, they, you know, and, and they try to act like, you know, they ain't catching hell, but they, people, these people are fucking, they hate their lives, you know? And not in the, in the sense that we hate our lives, they hate, they, they hate themselves. People, these people hate themselves, you see? But we'll, we'll, we'll put on a show, put on a front. This is why they gotta have, you know, the, the most expensive car, most expensive. Show. Like I was, I, I, I saw my, my 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 brother, my brother in the world. <laughs> nigga had nigga had on some, he had on some eight hundred dollars shoes. Nigga said he's eight hundred dollars shoes. I said looks like a waste of money. <laughs> you know, looks like a waste of money. Like what the fuck? What's the point of having eight hundred dollars shoes on, man? What what, what what is that about? You all you gonna do is walk on them and dirty them up, scuff them up. What, what you know? That's that, that's the mindset of a, of a nigga of this world. Okay, fuck that, bro. You know, put, put, just put some shoes on your feet, bro. Okay, it ain't, it ain't gotta be eight hundred fucking dollars. That's ridiculous, man. You got people that's, that, that 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 got rent eight hundred dollars, man. You know, and I told him, I said, man, man, you, you could you could you could have did a lot a lot a lot better things with that money. You know, Isaiah twenty four and eleven. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Right. So there's a crying for wine, which is answers. You know, these people out here, you know, they're, they're confused. They don't know what's going on, you know, and, and pretty soon they're, they're going to be crying for answers. They're going to want to know, why is this happening? Why is everybody dying? What is going on? And you're going to have no answers, man. 
you're gonna be lost and confused and 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 and, and you know caught, you know fucking lost in the sauce man trying to figure out what the hell is going on all right and the mirth of the land is gone so it says all joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone so uh, yeah, all, all the laughter all all, all, all the partying all, all all the hanging out you know just hanging around you know all that shit gonna come to an end man and, and people gonna realize okay wait a minute you know i saw a video i gotta i gotta post it man it was this guy you know he says that he interviews like rich people and shit and he asked them yeah he, he, he asks them um you know what 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 what, what do they wish that they would have done more of and they have all this money and all this riches and all this fame and they'll say i wish i would have spent more time with my family i wish i would have got more you know um i i i uh, i wish i would have worked on my spiritual um my spiritual enlightenment more whatever my, my spiritual life more i wish i would have you know, they have all these regrets because people are always chasing that fucking dollar. But they didn't that, 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 that's going to lead you to a ditch, man. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, you should be looking for spiritual things, you know. We ain't praying to the Lord to give us a million. We pray to the Lord to give, to give us more faith and, 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 and more, um, you know, more spiritual things. You know, fruits of the spirit. All right. It says, uh, Yep, yep. Brother Diet Garments from Basra. It says, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your affections on things above, not on things on earth. Right. So that's where our mind is at. Our mind and our affections, the things that we want and desire, are on things above, not on things on the earth, man. The nigga said he had $800. Shoes. Like, nigga, what the fuck are you going to do with $800 shoes? You're going to wear them, what, two, three times before they fucking, you know? And, I, and the shoes was ugly as hell. It was ugly. I'm like, bro, those are ugly, bro. It's like people that wear these Balenciaga, you know, fucking look like fucking shape, shape ups, man. I'm like, what, what, are you, what are you doing? Like, you know, oh, just because they, they, niggas will buy some because they're $800. How much that cost? Yeah, they, they buy it for the price. It's just a waste of money. You know? Which, like I say, that's my brother. I love, I, love, I love him to death, but he, but he in the world, man. You know? He in, he in, he in the world. He don't, he, he don't know no better. And that's the that's majority of our, of our people. They don't know no better, but they in the kingdom of heaven. That's why we look for the kingdom of heaven, because in the kingdom of heaven, we all going to be of one mind and the same spirit. It's going to be joy. We're all we going we to be able to rejoice with one another, man. You know? Right now, it's a, it's a bunch of vexation. Second, uh, die garments from Basra, through water, brother. You put a lot of scriptures up here, through water. Um, second, Ezra chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they be in, pit in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and that thought, and that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments and that's the people these people that, that that abuse the ways of yahweh bashim al shai you don't want to keep the laws and commandments you don't want to serve yahweh bashim al shai you're going to be in pit pitiful case man and i always say hey you, you better be able to eat the motherfucking 800 shoes man you know when this inflation come you're gonna be thinking about all the times when you spent money on dumb shit on bullshit man you know or uh it's like when you when, when, when you get you know you catch a cold or something and your nose stuffed up, you start thinking about all the time you was able to breathe through your nose, you know, you know, you was able to breathe through your nose uh, peacefully, man. You know, so when, so when, you, when, when you have things in abundance, it's not a big thing. But when, when these things are, you know, strip from, are starting to be stripped from, stripped from you, that's when people start considering more, you know. It says, um, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. You got people in this world that are receiving benefits, man. Oh, oh, oh. They, 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 they just can never have enough. Motherfuckers doing pretty good on this side, man. Even you, Jake, you're doing pretty damn good on this side, man. So that, that, that's those benefits. You're receiving all them benefits, but you don't know y'all about shit outside. And that's why your average nigga who got all this money, like the other pastor I was going to with Floyd, they never going to come into this truth, man. Because they ain't suffering. You see? They, 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 they ain't catching hell. You know? <laughs> you know, like that. And the Lord did that so that they don't come into the truth. Let me grab that too, Lord. We'll like to grab that. All right, beautiful. Yep. Let me finish this up first, though. It says, verse 11, And they that uh, have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. So you think you, you, gotta, you, 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 you get a chance to repent and wake up and come to your spirit, how about you, should I serve him? But you don't understand that, you despise it, man. You despise it. You know, they look down. Oh, yo, yeah, no, that, 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 that's lame. Okay. Well, what's going to be lame is when, 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 when your ass getting, you know, you see when you see a missile's coming and you seeing a man next to you getting beaten up, but your ass still, still still sitting here. 
okay? And, you, and, you, and he praying upon, you hear her just make holding upon your whole boss and your shrine, and you trying to figure out what, what, what did he say before he got beamed up. You trying to figure out how, to, how, how you pronounce that <laughs> in hopes that you get beamed up, all right? Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. So the same must know it after you people, you're going to know, you're going you're gonna to know it, but after death by pain, man, okay? Great death and suffering, okay? That's what's coming. And that's why Yahweh Bashanah Shah is greatly to be feared, okay? He is greatly to be feared, man. Dyed gar garments from Basra, uh, Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 19. Beautiful, I, I have one to tell you this earlier in the beginning of the video. Uh, 7 and 19, they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. The silver and their, it's like here, their silver and their gold, their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that, that money and all that fame and that shit ain't gonna be able to save you, bro. All your accolades in this world, you know, your damn BMW, that shit ain't gonna be able to save you in the time you're coming into. Okay, it doesn't matter. You know, you say, oh yeah, well, you know, look what I'm, look, people, people be, oh, look what I'm driving. It doesn't matter what you're driving, what matters is the motherfucker that's in the car. If the car crash and is total, people ain't gonna care about it. the car they gonna care about is the person alive that's in the car. You see? So, it, it, you know, it says, um, they shall not be satisfied. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because if it is a stumbling block of their iniquity, right? And the scriptures say how man shall not live by bread alone. So we don't, we don't, you don't, you don't, you don't just live by bread alone, man. You know, the Lord's when there's no, there is no bread. The Lord can sustain your hunger. When there's no food, Lord can sustain. The Lord can have it where you, you know, you ain't ate in weeks, and you and, and you feel full. You feel full, okay. The Lord can make it where there is no food out here and the Lord still feed. He, he, he have a raven come and bring, bring you uh, bread, man. You know? So, get with your whole boss, Shemiel Shai, man. Okay? Get with your whole boss, Shemiel Shai. And these are our last warnings because as time goes on, they about to shut this internet down, bro. They about to shut, shut all this down. And when they shut this down, all you're going to have is what you have. And if you don't have it, if, you, if this, this, this word ain't sealed up in your heart, you through. Guy garbage from Basra. Psalm chapter 86, verse 6, give ear, O Yahweh, unto my unto my prayer, and attend, like and attend to the voice of my supplication. That's what we pray that the Lord give ear unto our prayers, man. And he attended to our supplication. We constantly pray and, and, and give a supplication unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Lord will show you how he's actually giving ear. He's actually listening. He's at, he, at, he hears you. Okay? The Lord has many ways of showing us that he hears us, man. Okay? And, I, and, 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 and that's, an, that's an exhilarating feeling, man. That's an exhilarating feeling. All right? Hey, I had that happen to me the other day. I, I, had, I had just prayed to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for something, and he gave it to me before everybody that was around me. It was like 100 people in, in, in this room, man. And I prayed to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He blessed me with something that everybody wanted. You know, everybody wanted this thing, and he, 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 gave, he gave it to me. And I'm the only one that went up and just sent, sent us up some prayers real quick. It wasn't, it wasn't just for that. But we always praying and we say, oh, you know what, Lord? You know, this will be useful too. The Lord said, okay, bet. That's yours. You know? And when they when they, when they like, gave it to me, whatever, they called my name, whatever, I was like, whoa. Everybody, everybody just stopped and looked like, you know? So that it was, it was a very supernatural, what I'm trying to get you to understand, it was a very supernatural thing. That was supernatural, bro. So imagine, you know, if we, if we pray for things now on, on, on a minuscule level as that, and the Lord gives it to us, how much more when the Lord gives you <coughs> <coughs> deliverance or spiritual power in that day, man, when you need it the most, you know? D these things that, that we get on, on a low level ain't nothing compared to what the Lord going to do, do to us on a high level on that day, man. And that's why it's a blessing to have this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. All right, let me grab this real quick. Let me grab you out, finish the last precepts up. It says, Matthew chapter 13, verse 9, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou to them, unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. And whosoever hath to him, to him shall be given, and and he shall have more. Of, 
Slakia. Let me bring that back. And whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundant. But whosoever have not for him shall be taken away, even that he have. And therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is full, is fulfilled the prophecy of Elias, which which saith, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see and shall not perceive. So you got people that hear these words, they hear it pass by, and they, they, hear, they physically can't hear us, but they don't understand. They see us at a prophesying with, with a garment on it, and, and, they, and they physically can see us, but they still can't see, you know, it says, Uh, it says, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Elias, I read this, which saith, by hearing, ye shall hear and shall not understand. And seeing, ye shall see and shall not perceive. For this God, for, for, okay, for, okay. for this people's heart, mine, is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, Lest at any time they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should be and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. So the Lord, the Lord don't want to heal everybody. He don't want, he don't want everybody to be converted. He don't want everybody to get it, man. You see, this is saying, it's saying like there's a whole witness. You can go door to door. We ain't going fucking door to door. Okay. It's ain't for everybody, man. Only, on, only the remnant shall be able to understand and, and hear and receive these things. It says, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. Right. There you go, man. All right. So, and the prophets, they saw these things. They heard these things of a fourth time, but they couldn't fully understand because it, it wasn't a time. But now we are in the latter times. The prophets are back. Those same prophets are back. And, and you don't know who a brother is in the spirit, man. You never know who a man could be in the spirit, man. You never know who, who, who you know, you can't think, Trimble says, esteem your, uh, 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 the next man better than yourself. Don't ever get in the spirit of thinking that okay, ah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm more fire. I'm, I mean, I'm higher in the spirit. No, what the fuck are you talking about? That's not the spirit of Yahweh, Shai. You no, know, scripture says, the scripture says, they that be greatest among you, uh, 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 uh shall be a servant. You know, and he that exalt himself shall be a base, and he that is a base shall be exalted. All right, you gotta always remember that, man. Keep that in mind. All right, let me see. Um. There we go. Yep. Let me, let me grab these last precepts as well, too. All right. This is uh your brother Shapa of the Twelve. Shalom, brother Yahweh Shinyal Shai by Shimon Kavdash Brachatah. Beautiful brother, man. Beautiful brother. Luke chapter eighteen, verse six and eight. It says, "And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless." When the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? Right. So the Lord's going to avenge his elect, man, speedily. But he said, when he comes, shall he find faith on earth? Because when what, it's going to be so much hell and chaos and destruction going on, all people are going to, going, to, going to lose faith, man. All people are going to stop believing. You know, you, you, you may claim to believe now, but hey, you, you don't know what tomorrow may bring. What may put your ass in, in a trick bag 
And he's gonna and you slop and like 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 Job. And Job kept his integrity, man. You know, his woman told him to curse the most high and die, and he kept his integrity no matter what he went through, man. And Job, Job was a righteous man. He, he was a just man. He, 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 he didn't do nothing wrong. But the Lord did at the chest the, 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 the test him, man. So how much more us? You know? How much more us? Let me grab this and I'll close up this right here. It said, um. Beautiful. John chapter 16, verse 23. Mm. Verse 23. It says, And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask, 